Hello and welcome to chapter 17! BAM! Sorry for your earbuds. Chapter 17 of me reading Anomaly, the greatest book in the entire world. How to finally stand out from the crowd. The greatest book in the world part of it. That is not part of the normal chapter. Just want you to know that. But, it should have been. This is me, Zach Miller, reading each and every chapter of Anomaly until I'm done. This is chapter 17, one of my favorite chapters, and a chapter that has gotten some insane results from. We call it the 50-10 challenge. Trust is important. People don't follow brands and personalities they don't trust. You're probably reading this book or listening to this book because that's what I'm pretty sure that you're doing. Because you want to increase your exposure and want others to find you. To do that, you need to gain their trust. Imagine if you gain the trust of 50 new prospects. Whoa, that would be incredible. Now let's say you could take those 50 new prospects for only 10 minutes. Wow, to better understand their wants and desires. If you're someone looking for subscribers or fans, you could still use this same concept. Find out what your prospects want by asking questions. You can learn a lot. Let me restate that. By asking questions, you can learn a lot. Providing a benefit to help someone move forward extends a huge amount of value for you. And it helps you move closer to becoming trusted and an authority. One of the biggest mistakes most people make is making something for the sake of making something. Maybe they think it's cool or entertaining, but no one else actually finds value in it. Think about the idea of the starving artist. Upset that no one is buying their art. They create and create and create and create and create and create, but never sell. This is because they're creating for themselves and not creating what the market wants or needs. If you want to have a successful brand, you have to let the market guide you. The 5010 Challenge is a series of lightning fast meetings in a very short period of time, ideally less than 50 days. 50 days. Ideally less than three days. I don't know why I said 50. Yes, it's a lot of talking, but you provide value, have a lead, and show someone why they can trust you or why you could trust me. Ooh. Win, win, win. It's like a winner, winner, chicken dinner, and that's what we all want. The 5010 Challenge is a series of 50 10 minute conversations via phone or Skype or in person or however you want to do a series of conversations where you can get to talk to someone. The concept is to get in front of a lot of people really quickly to help identify their problems and needs. Think of yourself as a doctor. Ooh, hello, it's me, Dr. Zach. Listen to the way they describe what they feel, what they want, what their current issues are, etc. It's important that these conversations are one-to-one. -one. Be sure to document and record them like we talked about in earlier chapters for your records. Note, if you use audio and video, Make sure to let the person know that you're recording. If they have a problem with it, go back to the old school note taking and don't record without their permission. Because, well, I mean, you don't want to get in trouble for this. I mean, I guess you could get in trouble for this. Who knows? You should already have an understanding of your target customer. Now you need to find out where they spend their time, either online or in person. If your target market is dog owners, then there's a high likelihood you'll find most of your customers at vets, offices, dog parts, and pet stores. If your target customers are other business owners, networking events are great places to find them, or maybe it's a social media marketer who could simply be at a coffee shop. All of these examples of target customers can also be found online in forums, groups, and webinars. If you're starting a new YouTube channel about soccer, then visit already established channels on the subject and look at the people leaving comments, liking the post, and subscribing. This is a veritable goldmine for you. I did not use that word veritable. My editor added it. I don't even know what veritable means. I think when I originally recorded this, I said the exact same thing. I have not remembered what it is. I left it there basically to make you guys think that I'm smart. Thank you. Once you know, my guess is veritable means something, by the way. Uh, veritable probably means something like it's a an absolute or it's an incredible. It's an... Uh, it's a bang rang. It's I, I don't know. I don't know what veritable means, but it's in my book because 
if you the rumor is if you have books that have smart words in them and that make other people make you think that you're smart it makes you smarter I don't know now I sound like an idiot once you know back to the book once you know who you want to talk to and where to find them your next step is to collect their contact information sometimes it's right in front of you and other times you have to dig either way you can't make contact if you don't know how if you have a mutual connection ask for the introduction or their contact information communicate with your target directly the majority of the time messages sent to accounts like info at company.com are a waste of your efforts find the specific email address of the prospect you're trying to reach like zach at startwithhatch.com if it's too intimidating to start with someone you don't know or have never met in person it's okay to start with some targets with which you already have some sort of relationship established the important thing is to reach out if you're doing a social media post it could be hey friends literally just copy this exact thing hey friends i'm looking to learn what challenges you're currently facing in your business i'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with you free of charge in just 10 minutes of your time would be phenomenal i made it super easy for you to schedule by linking my calendar to when you're free please schedule your call today at and provide the link or you for me you could go to zachmillersays.com backslash 5010 5010 thanks zach this is short sweet and to the point you're engaging with your following and letting them know you care and want to help them at no cost whoa that is absolutely mesmerizing if you make it easy by giving them the link go to zachmillersays.com slash five zero t e n that's how you can get access to this strategy as well and you can schedule a call with me uh you'll have a better shot of getting people to sign up so go to zachmillersays.com slash five zero ten that's fifty ten five zero t e m you can also do this as a post on an online forum or group or to your group of followers through an email or social campaign be sure to follow the rules of the forum as not every group allows you to post and promote even though you're not actually promoting some group leaders may see it that way if they do find another group that doesn't have those same requirements if you have an existing network pair your network with your target qualities and see who fits the bill instead of posting on social media exclusively send your target a message where you have a conversation where you have had conversations with them in the past or will you feel comfortable or where you feel comfortable and invite them to the conversation again ease into this by starting with people you already know also do this challenge in the mediums that you feel comfortable if you hate meeting people in person then try on the phone or video platforms like skype or zoom hey look i wrote about zoom in my book before zoom was popular that means i was smart the more comfortable you are, the better your chances of completing this challenge. What's funny is we could say I could say like, oh, or go to house party, which is like the new thing, but I don't think house party is going to last very long. Break down 50 calls, 10, break down 50 call times at 10 minutes each. You now have everything you need. One additional tool that may help you schedule is Calendly, which takes a snapshot of your calendar and shows your guest when you're uh, available. Steven Reinstein created Market Muscles. I think you can go find them out at marketmuscles.com, an online services company that helps martial arts studios improve their online presence through websites, graphic design, and social media engagement. He built his company in early 2016, and a few months into developing the company, he officially announced the business to the public. However, no one knew about him or cared, and more importantly, no one knew what kind of value Market Muscles could provide martial arts studios. They create like uh did i say this yeah they create like the websites and stuff for them all like the marketing collateral and campaigns for them for several months reinstein tried getting into the martial arts community with no results even though he had extensive backgrounds in martial arts and extensive an extensive background in website development that's when he used the 5010 challenge reinstein found where his customers frequented reached out directly through forums and offered a free call to discuss the challenges that the studios were going through with their marketing and websites in this case these forums were like facebook groups these calls were really essential to him because the relationships that he made started to pay off by providing value in a simple phone call studios began to purchase his services by the way this is one of those case studies when you're trying to get in front of someone but are challenged with the how, stop doing what everyone else is doing and be the anomaly. Help your prospects and they'll, in return, help you. You know what everyone else is doing because you see it every day in your email inbox, 
in your mailbox, on your television, and through your social media challenges, social media channels. Roadmap, create a spreadsheet for targets for 5010. Number two, sign up for Calendly. Sign up for Calendly. Number three, reach out to targets and ask for lightning discovery meetings. You can sign up for one with me at zachmillersays.com slash 50TEN. ZachMillerSays.com slash 5010. If you're trying to figure out where these potential forms could be, a great example is you go to whatever your keywords are that you've been using and in the place where you frequent and type in those words and then add like groups. It's a great way to find those people. So thanks for listening. On to the next chapter.